Let me think. I've always thought that we need to be minuscule in order to be collectors of things that are so brilliant. Yet if we are collectors of things that are so brilliant, wouldn't we have to be collectors again, human being of, or alien type? in order to continuously manipulate something else so we, we, we would be m continuously making ourselves smaller into other worlds in order to collect the gems but you know what I really see it's like a pair of glasses okay first they did this and they put this then they went ahead and they put this this is okay here's earth here's earth all they have to do is take a machine throw everything in the machine and they can get the oil, the gas, whatever they need out of this planet. Or what else would they have to do? Does it have to do anything, anything, just, just anything, think, think. To get oil, it's time. What would they have to do to not come to this planet in order to do this? Well, this is what I think, okay? A, this is not a planet this is the brackets there's two brackets one here and one here okay I'm gonna try and see if I have this if I have this with myself here's where it is here's a bracket and here's a bracket we go ahead and we go around the bracket this way and we go ahead around the bracket this way then we put our cross over here and we connect this side and this side our cross over here this side and this side now there's a possibility this one is turning around like this and this one doesn't move or they both turn around inside the same sphere if not there's the two brackets of earth the two quarter parts of earth turning around they built earth they put a hat on it and that was it why do I say this because when you take a look at a the finish line in horse racing or you take a look at your keyboard and the number six has a V on top they built all of this from somewhere else just as small as man can be so can the alien be that small oh the alien doesn't want to live its own life you mean hold on a second they build robotics the robotics build humans to do everything the robot robotics don't want to do but it wouldn't matter to the robotics because if they have really no sense they have the love and the understanding of creation just the same thing as man now if we are part of the aliens just like the school of fish imagine the salmon goes up the stream lays the eggs and dies the school of fish comes down the stream imagine if the whole school of fish was one brain cell no matter where all those fish go inside the water they all know where each other is even if one should die off it still lives in one of the other ones until the last one dies it'll just take itself go back upstream the next year now if they all die well maybe that salmon okay has to be reproduced within the air we breathed from wherever that is however that works do you follow what I'm saying this is a put together planet we are robots we are not human apes and humans is because we made it that way the aliens whoever they are made it that way they're making me talk this way I may have the last element of thought but I really don't I really don't up to a certain amount of time maybe seven seconds that's all I think I have in this world is seven seconds at a time everything else as I'm talking is already being told to me inside the system so people keep saying extraterrestrials were they here before was it a royal family well it was something and it was created for some reason for some reason now imagine if that's real that means man's death is forever and he never comes back again why do they need to follow why did they make man the way they did because there's more than one society more than one society in this world of good and bad and they don't want to lose us that means the other world might make us live forever or once we're dead that's it we never get to see life forever and ever we came here to help them out and they keep putting new people on this planet they make us live for a short period of time so it makes the the value of life go a lot higher but 
I, I, I don't want to see it that way. I see that we are robotics, we are electronic, it hooks up in our body with that whole, if you pull out our brain, in the back of our brain there's this long thing that goes down our back. Anyways, regardless of that, churches, the top of the church, this piece of the top of the church, they zap into the top of the church, and then from the church it zaps out, and it collects all the information all over the place through the churches, um, through the steeples. You remember? We always talked about the steeples. Um, what else is there? Wow. The fish, the steeples. I'm, I'm still trying to remember something. So we're here. We're connected in the back of the brain, and we live, and when we die, it's just like turning on and off your light. The power is always there, but it's, there's, a, there's a short between the two sides. The minute you die, you just go back to wherever you were before. And if you want to come here again, you're not here as a child. That's why children can't remember anything when they're one year old, because they weren't here. They weren't here. You weren't here. We weren't here. We only got here after an age of maybe three. And what's really cool about coming here at the age of three is that in the spirit world, as kids, we have so much imagination because we keep going back up to heaven. Every night we go to sleep, we go back to heaven, we come back, we go back to heaven. Then eventually, we don't remember that we, went, we go back to heaven at all. We don't know that we go back to heaven and that we come down to earth. Some children do, re do know because they, they go back, and when you go back, there's only certain things you're allowed to do. Otherwise, a child's going to say, hey, I went to heaven, I came back. And there have been kids that said, last night in my dream, I was in heaven. And if you really actually knew um, how to connect with that, you would probably be able to remember and do stuff during your dreams. But we don't. Um, I'm trying to remember what else there is. March is the third month. Um, if we wanted to get a full house, we have January, June, and July. Now listen. January, June, and July, 10, 10, 10 is the letters, okay? 10, 10, 10 is the letters. We all said 0 equals 6, so every one of 10, 10, 10 would be 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, would be 48. 4 times 8, 4 plus 8, equals to 32 and 12 is 44 Barack Obama. And also, when you create the X, the, this part and this part of the X, there's four parts of a V in the X. But instead of using the top and the bottom, use the top going down and use one of the sides going this way. Why? Because if you use the two sides, you're already going in one direction. You're not going in both directions. Imagine the V is on top, you go down. You catch the V on the bottom. Imagine the V is on the left, you go right. You catch the V on the other side. Make sure 44 for space. Um, we were talking about March and May and January, okay, January, so it becomes January, July, June, 777, seven, seven. March and May, the 13th letter and the 13th letter makes 4 and 4. It would be 4, 7, 7, 4. Multiplied by 13 moons, if I remember, says 808 bicycle playing cards. How does it say 808? By the amount of moons that have passed would be 62062, which would be 808 bicycle cards, or ZOZ. -Z which says Zeus. No, it says Zeus. Did you understand how? Z-O-Z because 4774 moons when multiplied by 13 or multiplied by 31. And i got to do this over here. 4774. 2002 times 47. Uh, and 4774 times 31 or times 13. Maybe 47, 74, 0, 3, 4 is 12, is 2 and 1, 21, 22, and 2, 22, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 2 is 12, is 14, uh, 0, 6, 9, 0, 8, 1, 18, 0, 96. Now, I did not get the right answer. 13 times 4, 7, 7, 4, or 31 times 4, 7, 7, 4, or 47 times 4774. And that's funny because 4774, 47 is time, 74 is Christ. So between the three J months and the two M's says the time of Christ. 
the same time, January is the first month, June is the sixth month, July is the seventh month, in which May, March is the third month, and May is the fifth month, which makes 135, which says ace. M135 says ace. And the leftover is JJ67, which says the spirit of 76. The ace king of the spirit of 76. You understand? Ace king, big slick, ace king, spirit of 76. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Does anybody want to see, does anybody see the number 10 here? Here's the 1, and here's the 0, 10. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching this video.